Let's go ahead and set up our Azure for Imagine so that we can actually act, uh, publish our project to Azure. Let's log into our Azure portal first. Verify that we have the right account. DreamSpark or Imagine is it is now called. Include a free web app and a free SQL database. It does not include a website or a SQL server. It's a little different. But we're going to first go to this little icon here. And these are our app services. And we're going to add a web app. Do not select web app plus SQL. You have to have a paid subscription in order to use that. So we want to click create a web app. Okay, give it a name. This has to be a unique name. Select your subscription, which is your Imagine or DreamSpark subscription. Create a resource group. This just organizes all your objects in Azure together. So we'll call it Give me anything you want as long as it's unique to the whole of Azure. Yeah, I believe you have application insights is included as well, but I'm not going to create that. I'm going to go ahead and pin this to dashboard and create. Give it a few minutes to deploy. Okay, once it's succeeded, it'll pop to this screen, and then you can go back and actually see that you now have your web app. Next thing we want to do is we want to create a database. So we're going to click on this little icon here, add a database, and again, Use an existing group that we created earlier. We want to delete a blank database. Let's create a database to host, uh, actually a SQL Server to host our database. Give it a name. Give it a uh, username and password. It's not strict enough, so let's try there we go. I'm also going to put my location closer to the uh, where my web app is actually hosted. So I'm going to go South Central US. Love everything else the same. Actually, let's make sure that we have that correct. Yep. And then pin that to dashboard and create. Again, give it a few minutes to deploy. We can see our web app has already been deployed and running, and now we're waiting for our database. Okay, once it's done, you'll see this screen up here. And then we'll see that we have a database configured. That's our web app, and that's our database. Click on Contosa Nathan, and you'll actually see the server name and also the connection strings over here. And here's my different options for connection strings. I'm actually going to be using ADO.NET, so I want to copy using Control C my connection string for use later in the publish process. Notice that my username and my password are not um, placed in this connection string for security reasons. I will have to place those in there manually and this is the actual database username and password I created a few uh, minutes ago in the video. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and then the next video will actually be going into Visual Studio 2015 and publishing our project to our Microsoft Azure accounts.